Hello and welcome to another tutorial and this time we've got something really special. It's a brand new app called Creator's Best Friend. And what does Creator's Best Friend do? Well, quite simply, it takes the chapter markers from Final Cut Pro 10 and converts those into timestamps, which you can see here on this video. Those timestamps also mean you get a segmented progress bar and you can see all the chapters. Uh, there you go, in YouTube. And this also looks great on a mobile as well. Really simple to do. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run you through the whole process. But before I do that, just to say, the app's available now on the Mac App Store. It's $9.99 and we'll leave a link in the description below, possibly in a timestamp as well, uh, that you can follow and get this great time-saving app. So here we are in Final Cut Pro 10, and we've got a Zoom recording from an fcp.co live show, which um, is over an hour long, which is great because it will show the chapter markers working. But your timeline can be as complicated as you like. Um, clips, comp compound clips, titles, anything you can get a chapter marker on, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. Just have a listen to Nate here. Yeah, we couldn't reliably do anything. This is the only way we could get like full resolution stuff delivered. So. Now, I know when he moves his hand there, he's going to talk about importing um, the videos into Final Cut Pro. So what I'm going to do is just hit the M key. And then I'm going to modify that. And I'm going to make it a chapter marker. It has to be a chapter marker. It'll ignore the other two. So the one on the right here is a chapter marker. And then I know that is importing into Final Cut Pro 10. That's a chapter. Click done. And there you go. Now. If you want to have a look at these, you can obviously use the index, the timeline index on there, and you can go through and look at those. Um, you can also edit them in here. And as you can see here, we've got um, an emoji and you just about see it down there. We've got a URL and we'll follow those through in a while. OK, I'm quite happy with all that. Let's just see the whole timeline. We've got quite a lot of them, and look, you know, it is over an hour long. So this is where the where the chapter markers really come into their own. I'm going to go file, export XML, then I'm going to call it show 14 markers, and hit save. And that's all you have to do in Final Cut Pro 10. Just make sure these are chapter markers. The other two won't show up at all in Creator's Best Friend. Um, it's just for chapters. Back on the desktop, I'm going to open up Creator's Best Friend. It's the black and red heart. And as you can see, it's a really simple app. It's just two buttons. And at the top, it says Open XML. So I'm going to open. And I'm going to go Show 14 Markers from my desktop. And that's it. Simple as that. We've got all the markers, all the chapter markers, all listed and all formatted correctly. This is the most important thing. So we've got the one at the top at double O. You need to have one at the top at double O, otherwise the segments don't work. The timestamps in YouTube will work, but not the segments on, on the video. And they go right down to an hour and 10. And then I hit copy to clipboard. It's really as simple as that. So let's go back to YouTube and Safari. Open that up, and here is show 14, the one that I want to add the timestamps to. At the moment, you see we've got the solid line along the bottom. So I'm going to go edit video. You can go up here and go into the uh, Creator Studio uh, to go via that route, but I'm just going to go edit video. And then we need to go into the description. Uh, you can have 5,000 characters in here, so why not use as many as you can? You see here we've got 824 or 5,000. So I'm just going to add a character turn. And then here's the clever stuff, just hit paste. And all those timestamps go in there. Um, you can actually see, I think I've got, look, theatre spelt wrong. You can adjust the um, spelling in Creator's Best Friend should you wish to. Now the most important thing here is hit save. Now all that data's gone in. As you can see, we've used up some more of these characters. All this data goes into the Google search machine. So the more you can put in, the better. The more your YouTubes will become discoverable by other people um, on there. This is really important. It does help. Now, let's just have a quick look at this. We're going to go view that. It's so close. It's So this should be the saved video. And if we can go show more, we have all the timestamps down here. How cool is that? So let's say we want to go working at Bad Robot. Right. I worked it there for a total of about six and a half years. We um, hear Nick wow. talking about Bad Robot, and immediately you can see we've got these segments underneath here, which are from the chapters, which really helps, especially if you're on mobile. It, look, it looks great on the mobile um, mobile phone on there. 
Now, a few other things I want to talk about. First of all is the fact that emojis travel through. So they go into the listings. They won't appear up on here. They won't appear in, the, in, in this box. They will appear in your timestamp listings. The thing I'm most excited about is the fact that you can paste URLs into the chapter markers in Final Cut Pro 10 and they will follow through. And as you can see here, we've got Frame.io. And if I click on Frame.io, we go off to Frame.io. Now, why is that important? Well, if you think about it, if you're a, a beauty vlogger and you've got, say, something like five um, eyeshadows that you're reviewing, you can put a URL on each of them in the Final Cut Pro timeline, and then that URL will follow through all the way through into your YouTube description. Now, you might say, well, I'll just do it in the YouTube description, but it's a real pain in the backside doing this in the back end of YouTube. And also, should you just drop one um, one eyeshadow or one beauty product, everything will ripple up. All the chapter markers will ripple up and all the timing will be absolutely bang on. So you can actually put the chapter markers on as you edit. And then after you export from Final Cut Pro 10 into YouTube, um, just do the XML and then drop the um, timestamps into uh, the description and everything will match up. Just a few things as well. As I said, you've got to have a zero zero for the segments to work on here, like that. Um, now, Creator's Best Friend will add zero zero if you haven't got one in there already. Um, you need to have three timestamps for it to work for the segments. Again, you'll, you'll get a little warning if you haven't got three. And also, they have to be more than 10 seconds apart. Um, it'll ignore the ones that are closer together and you'll get a warning on there. So there you go, there's the app, it's called Creator's Best Friend, it's available on the Mac App Store for $9.99. It's a joint venture between myself at Industrial Revolution and the guys at Intelligence Assistance. And we think it just saves so much time when you're trying to put the data into YouTube. And as we said before, it's all about getting your videos discovered on YouTube and getting this data in is very, very important. So if you're new to the channel, a like, a subscribe, um, maybe ring the bell, that would be really nice. Um, please hang around, we've got a lot more coming in the future. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.